Hello everyone, my name is Malthus. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to use a custom profile picture for your new character in Rogue Trader. This will also work for any other Owlcat games such as uh, Pathfinder or Pathfinder Kingmaker. So if you're interested, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new character. So in this instance, I'm recruiting someone while on my ship, but this will also work for your like primary character. Uh, if you don't like any of these profile pictures, which I personally didn't, what you're going to do is you're just going to go over to custom, okay? And this is this is the one that I used for my main character, and I'll show you the program I used to make it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to go to this plus, it's going to create a new file right here. You're going to do change portrait, and it's going to tell you exactly what sizes you need for your new one okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a, a window to your internet explorer or firefox like i use or chrome whatever and you're going to go to ideogram it's a ai generative tool it can give you sexy mario or uh what is this ups groot you know just whatever and what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to put in whatever you want to be so let's say we have a uh a turn of the century admiral actually we'll do got to be specific so like naval admiral with sci-fi fantasy uh, let's say features and then what we're gonna do is because we know we want it to be rectangular you're going to want to go over here and you're going to choose. So this one will make it like a poster where it's wider than it is tall. This one will make it a perfect square and this one will make it tall. So that's the one we want. And then if you want any of these, so if you want it to be like a paint, so like mine was cinematic and let's see, wasn't poster. Let's just try cinematic and see what we get with this. Okay. So it'll take it just a second to run. And you'll be able to use this. You'll, you can put in like female. You can put in an alien if you want. I don't care. It'll, it'll come up with just about anything. So this one came up with uh, fairly realistic looking people, right? So let's say I don't want that. All you have to do is hit dismiss. Or if you're on ideogram, all you've got to do is go on here and you can hit remix. So if you like this gentleman right here, you can hit remix and it'll keep most of the elements and you can kind of tweak it. That's one of the nice features about this. But if you don't like any of those, what we can do is we can just go over here. I'm gonna do that, make sure. We're gonna do a, uh, bu 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 bu. what do we got here? We got lots of options. Let's do an illustration so it makes it less realistic. And this is a totally free site, it, you know, it's great for stuff that you don't need a, a huge amount of uh, detail or anything. So this is a little bit better, right? But let's just do sci-fi background and see what that gives us. Because we want something like contrasting with the uh, naval style. So this guy turned out really cool. So he's still got like the, cause the, w the way I'm playing the game, at least I have a, I'm, I'm playing with like a naval aesthetic because we're a ship captain. So what you're going to do is you're just going to copy that. Okay. We'll go ahead and download it actually. So it'll be right here. We're going to go ahead and open everyone's favorite program, which is just paint. because we're fancy here. We're going to open. We're gonna to go to our downloads. It's a little messy, I apologize. I download a lot of STL files for 3D, 3D projects.
There we go. So as you can see, not the highest definition photo, but it still looks pretty good. So what we want to do next is we want to go in here and we want to make sure it's the right size. So we know we need three pictures. We need one full portrait of 1080 by 1480. What I would like, what I always like to do in situations like this is I use my snipping tool and I can do this and I can put this off to the side. Snipping tool comes free on all Windows computers. And what that'll do is it gives me a cutout of all the specs. Okay. So then we can minimize this again. And we can go in here. We can maximize this just to make it a little easier to work with. We can do a resize. We're going to go to pixels. And I did this earlier and it didn't come out looking real wonky. So you're just going to go in here and you're going to unlink these two. And you're going to make it like that. And we'll see how it looks. Makes them a little fat. Not so bad. You could also do a little bit of reshaping on our own if you want. You can always just like do stuff like dragging it. You can do it. Okay, there we go. And if you watch the bottom left, you'll see the pixel change. So currently it started out at 640 by 120 or 124. Um, but is, as we maneuver it, it'll kind of change. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get it like that. And we'll try that and see if it looks better when we uh, manipulate it. So 180. Come on, you can do it. It's still really wide, but honestly, seems okay. Let's try to get it a little bit better. Let's try just doing a 120 stretch. Okay, let's do another. I'm trying to get it as close as I can without having to use blow up on it. Okay, now let's go to 1080. Okay, so we need to cut off some vertical. So we're going to cut off to 1480. So that's 1482. Boom. And as you can see down here now, it's one, uh, 1080 by 1480, which is what we want for our primary picture. We're going to come in here. We're going to save that as PNG. We're going to save it in our pictures. Okay, and we're going to save that as uh, normal. Next, we're going to do our 448 by 600. So let's see what happens when we change this to 448 by 600. That looks really good, actually. I'm going to go ahead and sliver off that part right there. And then we're going to go ahead and tweak it because I had to cut off a few pixels. So there, and this is going to be our medium size. And I'm saving these uh, under these names specifically. So the next one is going to be like our little icon. So what we're going to do on this one we want it to be 260 by 336, so we're going to get it pretty small in on the face. 260. Okay. By 3. Oh, it looks like I un undercut it a little bit. Hold on. Try that. And then... I'm just kind of trying to 36. Okay. 
Oh. Okay. And we're going to save him as small. Okay. Now we can go out of here. And what we're going to do is we're back in this, uh, we're back in the actual game. So we're going to go in here and we are going to open portraits folder. And what it'll do is it'll bring you to the specific portraits. So these are all the portraits I've made for my other characters. Boom. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to replace these from our picture folder. So I'm going to replace that one. That one. And then we're going to rename this guy full length. Okay. Should be able to go in here and hit refresh. And as you can see, it's not HD. It's not perfect. But it's free. It takes like 15 minutes, 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. A little bit more if you want to get creative on the AI. But now you have a customized low or customized portrait that you can base your character on. It just it helps you add a little bit of flavor to your character. You can do literally whatever you want. You could have a fucking Space Marine in here. Um, it's just something I like to do. And it's something that I think is uh, something you can do at the beginning of your game just to make it a little bit more flavorful. So if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I would appreciate a like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, if there's anything I can do to improve my channel, please let me know. And aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you later.